Today, I'm going to be showing you how to customize and change your app icons on the iPhone. Let's jump in. Now, first, there's a couple of built-in options to change or customize the apps that you have. If you, while you're on the home screen of your phone, you can tap and hold any empty space, and it'll bring up this uh, option to move apps around. But up in the top right-hand corner, you can see it says Edit. You can click on that, and then it says Customize. And there's a couple of options built into this. You could do small app icons, which is what I have, or you can select large, and it just makes the app larger and it removes the text from below the app. So that's an option. And then they also have light, which is what it's on now, or you can do dark for nighttime, you can set it to that, or you can set it to be automatic. So it'll go off at the time of your phone and it'll switch back and forth between light and dark, depending on when you're on your phone. And then they also have tinted. So you could tap that and it sort of makes all the apps one color. And so you could go through here and select the color you want and how light or dark you want that. You could do just like a black and white thing, all red. So those are options just to customize what the existing app icons are. But next, I'm gonna show you how to actually change the entire graphic of the app to be whatever you want. So first, we need to choose what we want that app icon to be. Now you can use any photo on your camera roll or anything that you've downloaded to, to use for that. Uh, but if you don't have something selected, you can open up a web browser here and we're gonna search for flaticon.com. They have tons of vector icons and stickers which work great for what we're doing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for icons and I'm just gonna search for Instagram search. And you can see there's just a bunch of different types of Instagram icons here that you could pick from. So I'm just gonna pick one here. That's kind of cool. And over here you see where it says PNG. You just wanna tap on that and go to free download. And then you see it pops up there. We wanna save that. We're just gonna save it in our files, click save. And then we're gonna go open in downloads. And now we're just gonna tap and hold that. And we want to share and save image, which will save it onto our camera roll, which is where we need it. So now that we have our icon saved, now we're just gonna close out of that and we're gonna open up our shortcuts. And next up at the top, we're just gonna click the plus sign to add a new shortcut. And then up at the top, you see it says new shortcut. We're just gonna tap on that and click on rename just to keep these organized. I'm just gonna rename this Instagram icon. Click done. Always a good idea just to keep everything organized. Next, we're gonna select down here in the quick actions, open app. If you don't see that, you can always search for that in the actions, but this is a very common one, so it should pop up for you. So you're gonna click on that. Okay, next where you see it says app, you just wanna tap on that and you wanna select what app you want it to open. In our case, it's Instagram. So now open Instagram. And next, you just wanna click on the info button or the I button in the bottom middle of the screen. Tap on that. You wanna click on add to home screen right there at the top. And there you can see that it's gonna uh, call that Instagram icon. I'm just gonna delete icon so that it just says Instagram. Next, instead of their predetermined graphic, I'm gonna select the next one over, which is our own photo. And then you see here it says choose photo, or you can take a photo or file or anything like that. We're gonna go choose photo. We're gonna select that Instagram icon that we just saved in there. We're gonna select choose, and there you go. Now we have that icon coming up for that app. And we're gonna click add. And once you have that all set, you click done. And now we can close out of this. You can see that icon is now on your screen. And now when we tap on that icon, it opens our Instagram and everything functions just the way it was. Now, once you have that set, then you can just delete your old app and now you just have your new app. So you could go through and uh, create any customization of any of the apps that you want or go with a theme or a certain artwork style or whatever you want to kind of customize your home screen the way you want it. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.